So good morning. Uh, last time we flown to this airport, which is called Bovets Airport, um, located in the vicinity of River Socha in Slovenia. Uh, we are discovering Slovenia X for prepared and flight simulator X and looking into the sceneries uh, of Slovenia X and Slovenia X airports. This is one of the typical general aviation airports that you will encounter um, across the country. So there are eight such airports, all are modeled and all are in the same along with other a bit bigger airports, international airports, as well as some airstrips. So you will get more than 40 of airfields and airstrips if you decide to buy this bundle of Slovenia X and Slovenia X airports. It is a beautiful morning the day after. Um, we had a very uh, lovely scenery yesterday uh, and we had a nice flight from Aidoschina airport into this mountainous region along the Socha Valley, more like a canyon on occasionally. And as you can see today it's again sunshine, um, it's morning and we are ready to go flying. So the airports are rendered as such that they, the, they have the correct disposition of all their elements. Um, the buildings should be recognizable. Um, as you can see, this is a new hangar building. Um, was built up only recently. There is a new apron as well. Some planes. Uh, Oh, we look around a bit. So this is one of uh, Blanix. Um, there are two planes that you will come across. So this one is red. Somewhere should be a blue version as well. Um, and they are in a position where they play a static role. So there to the right is a new heliport where, for emergency services. Um, you can see there also an emergency vehicle and there in the vicinity of that vehicle there is also a modeling. Uh, uh, I noticed last time that I moved my head around a lot. Um, so this is my track ER. Um, and sometimes when I'm looking into the, my cockpit, I have a small cockpit here, um, checking the flaps or checking the trim wheel and the radius or Last time I was also looking at the physical map, so VFR map of Slovenia. Um, then it seems that my head, that I'm upside down and uh, the view gets turned around a lot, a lot. So I, I will try to be better this time. And so I also have this small head switch here and we can pan around so we can see it better. And I've also positioned some of my buttons so that I can just press them and we'll see different things in the cockpit. Okay, see our RPMs, let's lower them a bit. the noise. 
So the last recording I noticed that uh, the engine noises and the ambient sounds are not so prominent so I'll just increase them um, so that you'll hear the engine better and I will be still hurt over that engine. Um, well, nice and cozy. Uh, the plan today is to go to another airport located on the opposite side of the mountain range uh, of Julian Alps, uh, this particular Alps here. So we'll fly from here towards the west and then turn around where the valley permits uh, and then gain the altitude, go over the Alps um, and fly over Mount Triglau. Make a circle there to show you the Krederica freeware. It's the, the highest uh, hut, uh, mountain hut uh, in uh, Julian Alps and in Slovenia. And it, it's a nice scenery there. It's a heliport, so we'll be not able to land, but we'll still be able to look at it. Uh, it's a nice rendition. And, uh, and on the top of the Triglau, there are there is Aljash's tower, so um, and a couple of hikers and mountaineers there as well. So if we are lucky, we'll find we'll find some of them in the walls in the vicinity, uh, but not sure because they are really hard to spot. Um, and then we'll proceed down the Yesenica Valley and over the Yesenica small town there. Um, fly by Blit. It's a picturesque, uh, picturesque lake with an island and a church on it. And then we land uh, in the land at the airport nearby. It's called um, Lesce, Airport Lesce, um, and you will find it as Airport Blit listed in the charts. Uh, it's Lima, Juliet, Bravo. Lima. So here we go. Um, our temperatures are still a bit low, but let's assume it will warm up soon. Let's go. So clear on the left, clear on the right. The textures are in high resolution, so this is something that causes this black. Uh, appearing from time to time and then loading the textures. They are really high res, um, 2K everything uh, on the buildings and on the static planes. It's also quite a high um, resolution. So here we are. Let's just break and look around. So we are going into that direction. Um, We'll take the right valley, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, we'll fly along the road there. It goes over the Vršić mountain pass, so it's not so hard to find. Lots of curves there. And here on the right, you see the uh, hay rolls there already. And again, some steep terrain uh, surrounding us. A uh, couple of trees there. Uh, we are on a plateau above the Socha Valley, Socha River down there in the, not, not really a canyon, but it's, it's something similar to a canyon, it's a bit wider. Um, on the climb out, uh, climbing out of this airport, perhaps on the right you will also notice, I'll, we'll see if we see it. Uh, there is a cable car going upwards. Yeah, there on the right, if you see that hut or a building uh, where I'm looking at, the, just there on the right, in the middle of the hill. So that's the intermediate station. Um, and then it goes all the way up towards that mountain there and this is a ski resort and we see the top lift station but ski lift station but you will probably not be able to recognize it 
um, because you don't know where it is and where to look but so it's a long way there um, let's put trim into a neutral position one notch of flaps that's done thumbs on and let's put some strobe and navigation lights okay and now let's cylinder head temperature is better let's give some throttle some rudder again no center line here here we go 60 knots 70 knots rotate it's showing motion it's something that's quite new here up laps up you here you can see here on the left the soldier viewer I was talking about let's put some trim in climb at 110 perhaps a bit less so that we gain altitude more quickly gaining height quite speedily around 1500 feet per minute which is decent so in this morning light you see the other shadows um, again the textures uh, and the landscape is based on a vector land class with some typical textures covering that and it's a bit different it's done a bit differently and I will explain later how it's done uh, it takes perhaps a bit more computer power but it's more more refined and more detailed than you are used to it because Slovenia is such a small scale country things change so fast that this 1 point by 1.2 kilometers of uh, resolution in the flight simulator is not enough to show all the variety here things change on 100 to 200 meters scale so you can see this big plane so this um, mountain ranges are usually grassed uh, above the tree line so this is one of those uh, I don't know how they are called perhaps meadows and a lot of cattle stock has been raising these plains in the mountains in summer in previous times so something that's like not happening a lot these days but cows and sheep in Slovenia had nice vacations nice mountain vacations uh, a while ago that's more like a touristy uh, thing sometimes you can still uh, encounter it and it's very nice to see um, and here just behind this ridge probably or in the vicinity we have Italy as well so here you can see how the Slovenia textures blend in with the uh, Orbix Global that's happening over the ridge so yeah we have gained a long, uh, enough height so we'll turn around there is uh, one uh, of the waterfalls down there Probably, if I'm not mistaken. Let me do this circle. Not. So yeah, 
we've flown in here last time so today we are going the same way we just gained some height made the circle we reduce power now a bit and we are headed towards this high terrain there um, and I'm sure there is Mount Triglav that we can see already climb a bit more we'll fly along the Trenta Valley also quite famous for its beauty it's a very idyllic country countryside uh, and so yeah the, the road is coming here we'll fly along the road to follow it and then go over the Versich Mountain Pass just switch there so and uh, we'll turn on the autopilot see if it works and if it works I can show you a bit of how it looks like this and let's see again I'm checking the map it's one thing to do the scenery and see it from the above and constantly see and check whether the everything is there and the other thing then to fly it and navigate see the airport below very bright green colors because it's a spring you can see the road you can see Socha Valley and we'll just follow that road and go into that into that valley looks nice green very green that's probably the what you would use when it comes to Slovenia and to describe it with one word it's a green country it's over 50% it's woods uh, and yeah so as you can see there is a Mount Rigla in front of us that's the highest mountain in Slovenia and we are headed there we fly along this Valley, so we'll keep it on the left. Um, uh, autopilot is flying it for the moment, and here you can see what I was talking about when I said that the things change on a smaller scale than one kilometer. Um, it's a vector based uh, land class scenery here, so it's like uh, polygons are defining the, um, the textures that are then pasted onto. Mesh and the mesh is very accurate, so it's 12 meters uh, between points and precision of 1 to 3 meters. So one where there was no coverage and 3 meters where the where there was the, the scenery was uh, where the uh, where it's overgrown with trees or buildings. So very accurate rendition there. Um, 
LOD13, so LOD13, which is quite accurate uh, mesh. Um, and the computer has to do its work uh, here um, as well because uh, a lot of things to compute. Um, lots of autogen that I demand from it. Um, and then consequently, I cannot have all my sliders turned left. I cannot do that in Orbic scenery, and nor can you do that usually in Slovenia. It, it should be a bit lighter on the frames than perhaps some other sceneries, but it's not extremely light uh, due to its density of objects. But what you have seen there in the distance is the changing and adapting of the terrain. Um, it's unavoidable, unfortunately, um, and it's the same thing. So when you come closer, um, it changes and it recalculates and refines the mesh. So this is also the reason why sometimes the houses are floating. We'll come back to that again later. So let's let's look around. I'll put it on autopilot again. in front of us there you can see it's something called Luknia and it's a small pass which is not really a pass that you would use by car and here to the left you can see the winding road going up towards the Vršić pass um, just below us is a Trenta Valley famous one Socha Valley as well uh, and they are very prominent there is Mount Trigla and we are headed towards it. I think that when we we'll circle around we will see the other mountains as well and Mount uh, and, and the Vršić Pass where the road goes and you can actually drive uh, there uh, by car in most of the times except not in winter time. A picturesque landscape you can see and very diverse in height. I'll turn that off and hand fly it again. So here we came through the Luknia Pass and uh, this what you see here on the left is a Vrata Valley and this is the northern wall of Triglau, a popular climbing place. Um, it's like 800 to 1000 meters of climbing, so quite a lot. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a big wall, I mean in terms of big wall climbing, but it's there. And now we'll fly past Triglau, uh, the mountain top. On the mountain top there is the tower. It's called Alyash Tower, and you can see it, small feature. I'll try to catch it from the other views. And just there is Trigla Kredarica, Kredarica Hut, a complex, and we'll have a closer look. Um, it's nice weather, nice view as well. We have a bit of a closer look to there. Let's see if we can persuade him to give us a bit a better shot. Yeah, that's it. And you can see blade in the distance there already. So our plane is turning. Lots of hills. it's time to stop playing around with the camera and come around. So here in the valley you can see there is Lake Bochin, also a very picturesque place, uh, surrounded by mountains. And we are turning around to catch a closer look of 
I'll trigger I will just reduce the speed and fly slower. Let's see if we need to put some flaps out. I have to control. Let's not overdo it. Oh yeah. Turning around and we'll fly just so that you will be able to see clearly it's in the morning light as well so the hut is there it's a freeware and has been done with the help of my students as well. So we've learned the efficient modeling ways and texturing and so on. And they then use this as a case study to learn. It's quite a big hut and it has a working windmills that and they show you from where the wind is blowing when you are landing there in a helicopter. Um, the helicopter is a frequent visitor there because the hut is then it used to be uh, it used to be um, filled by horses but now it's not so these are this is the Aliash tower and a couple of mountaineers around it but they are so small that you will not be able to see it properly. So we'll turn around here and look at the other nice things. The reason why these hills are not so, they are recognizable to the one that if, if you know it, then you can, you can just fly also by this uh, recognition of the tops of the hills, I mean the, the, the peaks. Um, you can see the road coming up there. We've flown through this valley and you can see the Bobbitt's airfield in the distance. Let's put some more of it in. And here are the huts of the Vershich Pass on the right. We have different peaks here. The reason they are not so pointy is because I have I had to reduce a bit of the mesh scale in order to have the sufficient frame rates. There is one of the huts. Some of the huts have landing pads on them for helicopters, and this is also simulated here, so you could land there. Uh, let's have a look where the road is. Some bridges there as well. So bridges are all modeled in. Scenery is based on the GIS data and lots of autogen is very diverse in, in terms of public buildings, schools, churches, toll stations, gas stations, and whatever you can think of. Also, this land, different landmarks, uh, different features like antenna, uh, transmitting towers, even down to the cellular towers. We have made a full circle and you can see the road there rising steeply. We need to pay attention to our speed and the mountains. Again, it's the Sakai type of scenery that changes so quickly. I cannot show you lots of the views because I have a lot of. I, I have to, to fly the plane. So we'll turn right, and now my track ER has stopped functioning. Is empty. 
so I have to rely on my dog and head switch. So here it is, Mountain Rashid Mountain Pass. You can see the road going down on the other side. There are two huts here, one also down lower there or two. And um, in terms of the peaks, there is Mount Moistro Peak and small and then some other that's called Nachitong Lava and then here on the right you have Shkarlatica and the famous window and Prisang and all these hills and mountain tops that probably don't mean much to you. Um, and now we are going towards Kranska Gora. So this road will take us to Kranska Gora. The lose a bit of a height, we don't need that much height anymore, um, it's very strange flying without we can have a look, see what we see came down we are already in the valley that is going towards Yesenice and on the left hand side you can see already Austria behind that ridge so that's Austria and Klagenfurt and this ridge is the borderline and it's called Karavanke in terms of mountain ranges now we are losing a bit of height so the, we are leaving the mountainous terrain behind us so there you can see this valley that we came down from and on the left is the most prominent mountain uh, also quite popular hiking place and a place for ski touring uh, sometimes you go from the Slovenian side and sometimes you go from the Austrian side it's called stow, like a chair uh, so yes, behind us spring where the Sava river comes out one of the Sava rivers the other comes from the other place that's called Buhinsko, uh, Buhinsko lake and we'll go deeper into the valley no reason to stay so high I see some clouds in front of us so we'll try to stay beneath them be able to do some more sightseeing. The frames are generous today. can see Triglav again there um, in, the, in the background and there is this Vrata Valley on the right and in front of us Jesenice it's an industrial town it's famous for still is for steel works. Uh, there is a tunnel going to Austrian side. Uh, it's, uh, the highway is also very populated, especially in the summer season. Uh, yeah. Let's see what's with this cloud there. Otherwise we'll need to go around. So this is behind there is another valley, it's called Karma, and this is the valley you would take if you go 
if you want an easy path towards Mount Triglau uh, or go ski touring for example so that, that's the valley you would take and it's it goes up more gently and it's not so steep and not so exposed uh, it's a nice it's a nice walk it's a long way uh, round so I would normally do that except in winter uh, but it's very popular among hikers and mountaineers so you can see lots of these huts so whenever there is a plane there in the mountains a middle um, and uh, there are some huts there is a special autogen done for them based on a particular hut model that you can find in the Bochin mountain ranges which is here in the Julian Alps we will go below that cloud so we'll reduce speed some more trim the aircraft down The steel works that I was mentioning before are seen there. This I can point it with a the mouse there. This is, this, these are the steel works. One of them is there, and then you can see the winding road, uh, highway road, and this is like a nice, very nice view of of the valley that we are leaving behind see it here more clearly so we came there along this valley a bit along this valley and the valley goes forward to Italy again uh, and Planica and Kranskagora popular uh, ski resort Kranskagora and Planica known for ski jumps and some settlements in the hills as well and now I need to go back flying so we don't go into the hill so this is not a perfect VFR flight rules following um, so excuse my flying I'm not a very good pilot uh, so these two features there are still works um, I'm also not talking to ATC at the moment Although Slovenia is often covered by ATC, especially on Tuesdays in Ivao, so if you want to fly online and have a decent coverage, then we have Ivao Tuesdays to do that. So here on the left, this is an artificial lake. It's it's happening because of the dam. There is a power plant, hydro power plant, uh, one of many on the Sava River. Uh, starting here and then continuing there along the Sava River um, now when we are here so we'll be flying along this highway for a while let's see if there is some traffic no probably I have traffic turned off due to frames but as you can see um, all the viaducts all the tunnel entrances are modeled I'm not sure that you will see it, but there are also signage. I can see it there along the highway, so some jumbo posters, some other signage that points the way. Um, and here on the left, in the clouds, is Mount Stowe. Here on the right, the lake I was t t telling you about, it's covered by a cloud um, and it's called Lake um, Lake Blit, very popular, so let's reduce the height a bit and let's make a short excursion towards there, it will be very low due to the cloud to see something. Um, so it has a castle on a cliff, it has an island, small island with a church, it has all the ingredients of a perfect spot 
except it's like full of tourists most of the time. Also very popular among Slovenes. Um, and it's like a resort with a hotel. There is a camping site there. Uh, you can see in the distance has a nice beach. So couldn't recommend it enough. So this one and perhaps even more beautiful is there is then the Bohin Lake, which is further along this valley. Perhaps some other time. So let's do a turn here, have some views. show us the castle is there the water is there I see I have to work on the I have to work a bit more on this my views let's not do this um, now here is a golfing place, also, nice place if you play golf and we will be looking for a uh, lake, uh, for, sorry, we will be looking for the airport that we want to land on and it's here, so we will align with this road be a bit challenging doing that without a uh, we are in the position to land actually so we are doing downwind there is no wind actually today What I think we'll do is look at it. So this is the view. This is like a million dollar view uh, of the airport, small airport. We we'll land at 32. I put this into my heading. And we are on a downwind. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we are a bit high. Reduce the speed, we put our landing gear down. We have one notch of laps. And we'll be flying the instruments so let's make our turn towards the base we can lose our height a bit probably some more I'm flying blind. Okay, we'll overshot. Let's do this. So we can reduce the speed. Get some power, we are low. I was hoping for a better landing today than yesterday, but no. But you can see lots of details here also. We have put another flap, notch of flaps. So everything is there and now it's like we are in a better position to land. Well, the speed is okay. There are two runways actually, one that you see, the other uh, 
it's the grassy runway that you will see probably when we come closer. Grass is coming into view. You can see that I haven't flown this plane a lot. Landing too long, so too used to Bonanza already. Okay, and there is these posters that I was telling you about on the left. Jumbo posters on the road. And airport on the right. I need to steer. We can stop and have a look around. Raise the flaps, turn off the pump and then we can look at this for the airport. So it's quite small. It has again a working windsock uh, that is just covered by this far. Um, then we have a hangar, you have a small tower and here on the left we have a run, uh, we have a highway. Okay, let's go there. Let's lean it. Talking too much and not concentrating enough on landings. But yeah, it's more about showing you the scenery than showing you my flying skills. turn here at the end of the runway. It's also a nice restaurant there. See some gliders. Very popular for gliding. Turn right here. And we'll turn here left and find some parking spot. You can hear the dog barking. You can hear the road as well. And you can see a working windsock here as well on the roof. So there is a man waiting us and lots of trailers for gliders and Cessna here and some poles and some grass let's park and a hunger that you can if you dare drive into okay Turn off the engine, turn off the lights and avionics. And let's look around. Some guys watching us there. And the road you can hear quite strongly here because there is the highway in the vicinity. So the airports come with custom sounds, somewhere you will hear the birds, somewhere you'll hear the road, dog barking, uh, renovations going on, um, some ships, some chickens, depends on where you land actually. And again, some particularities about the place, so the disposition of elements here should be quite correct. The fence is there and all the hunger buildings are resembling themselves. The trees and the greenery is where it should be. 
in terms of a computer, um, whenever I'm complaining about the frame rate, it's because I have not so fast computer. It's quite old already. It's nothing fancy. It's, it's some I would say lower end computer nowadays in terms of um, flight simulations. So it has a decent card, decent graphic cards, but the CPU is much. It's a slow one. It's it's a, it's not overclocked. It's i7, but an old model. Um, and, uh, it's not so fast as these ones that are overclocked and have more cores. So if it works for me at uh, these settings, it will work for sure for you if you have something similar. And you will find the description of my system and the add-ons uh, in the description down below. And in the background you can see a hay rack, that's also one of the famous things in Slovenia, hay racks for uh, drying of the hay. Um, and you will see them scattered across the landscape. Uh, this is also happening in Slovenia X. Um, you will see them wherever there are meadows. There are some hay racks positioned here and there. And you can see one hay rack also now in the background behind the van. nice sunny morning actually here some clouds coming in perhaps it will rain in the afternoon but we managed to have a good look around come from the hills there and had a nice flight except for landing so see you next time